What's going on guys, this is ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to install the safe shutdown slash safe reset script on the all new Retro Flag Super Pi cases. This will work on the SNES version or the Super Famicom version. In this video we're going to be doing everything from the Raspberry Pi. If you're familiar with SSH you can do it that way, but a lot of people aren't so you will need a keyboard because we're going to attach it to the Raspberry Pi to get into the terminal. We're going to install the script that will allow us to safely shut down the Raspberry Pi by using the power button. It'll also let you reset safely by using the reset button on your retro flag case. In order for this to work, your Raspberry Pi will need to be connected online either by Ethernet or Wi-Fi. We're going to connect to Retro Flag's GitHub, download their script. It's automatically going to install it for us. You will also need to make sure that inside of your retro flag case, the safe shutdown switch is turned to on. The one on the right here is the SNES version. The one on the left is the Super Famicom version. The switch is right here. There's an on and off label. Make sure it is set to on if you want to use this script properly. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and move over to the Raspberry Pi. Like I mentioned, I'm running RetroPi 4.4. It's just a fresh install. Before you ever install any kind of script, make sure you back up your image. You don't want to lose your hard work. If you're not sure how to back up your RetroPi image, I will leave a link in the description to a video I created on backing up your SD card. This will back up the whole image that you've worked hard to build. All right, so first things first, we want to change our keyboard layout. All keyboards are different all over the world, and this is set to the UK keyboard layout. If you're in the UK, you can go ahead and leave it like this, but I'm in the United States, and keys are in different places on each keyboard. We just want to alleviate any frustration, missing keys or something like that. There are different hotkeys you can press to get this to work, but we're just going to go ahead and change it to our specific region. So if you're in Australia, change it to the Australian layout. I'm not sure if it's different from UK or not, but I'm sure it's different from the United States keyboard. To do this, we're going to go to the RetroPie menu. From here, we're going to scroll down to RasPie Config. This is going to open up the RasPie Config menu. From this menu, we're going to scroll down to Localization Options. We can enter this menu by pressing Enter if you're using a keyboard or highlighting Select with a controller. Next, scroll down to Keyboard Layout. This is going to bring up a big menu. It's already preset to UK. We want to find the United States or whatever your country is because a lot of keyboards have different keys in different places. Choose generic 105 key right here. From this menu, scroll down to the very bottom and choose other. I'm just going to find English US. It's right below English UK. If you're in another country, find your country here. English US. I'm just going to click OK. I don't need an append key. You can set one up if you want to. So our keyboard layout has now changed. It's a good idea to go ahead and restart the whole system. Press start on your controller, quit, and go to restart system. It's now time to install the safe shutdown, safe reset script. Plug your keyboard in, press F4. This will bring us into the Raspberry Pi's terminal. This command is a bit long-winded, but it is case and space sensitive. It's going to be listed on screen in the description, and I'm also going to leave a link to RetroFlag's GitHub page so you can get it from there. When you're finished typing it out, press Enter. It's going to do everything for us. It could take up to two minutes to finish up, depending on your internet connection. It will automatically reboot when the script is fully installed. When it's finished, the Pi will automatically reboot. So now that I'm finished installing this script, I do want to demo it for you. I have installed it on my SNES version and my Super Famicom version, but I'm just going to be using the Super Famicom version here. All right, so here we are. I have everything plugged in. The unit is off. My monitor's on. I'm just going to switch it on. I'm just going to fast forward the first boot process here. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a test. I'm going to test out the reset function first. If you're using the Super Famicom, press the button here. If you're using the SNES, just use the reset slider. It's going to bring up the terminal, run the script, automatically reboot the whole unit. So reset is working fine. Let's go ahead and test the safe shutdown. 
we'll just turn the switch off here. It's going to bring up the terminal, run the shutdown script. The power light on the case should go off. There we go. I should get no signal on my monitor because the Pi is completely off now. And that's it. We have the script installed. It works fine. Really appreciate you guys watching. Links for everything will be in the description. And if you're interested in picking up one of these new retro flag cases, they are available on Amazon right now. I'm not sure when they're going to sell out. They are $39.99 and they come with a decent controller. I've messed around with a lot of these retro style Raspberry Pi cases and in my opinion, these two here are the best on the market right now. I really love the Super Famicom style here, but if you're into the SNES, you can also pick one of those up. $39.99 on Amazon. If the first link sells out, there is a pre-order page. You can get one in September. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.